Yo, what's good guys, my name is Duplays Games, and welcome to some more Pokemon Showdown. Alright, so, first off, uh, what we're gonna do, uh, before we even do anything, is take a look at our rank, because as you guys, actually, you can't see it, but, uh, our record is 11 and 1, and the reason it's 11 and 1 is because I tried to record this before, and, um, yeah, the recording just messed up altogether, I couldn't save it, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, so, there was a loss, uh, I won two battles and lost one, which sucks, but you know, whatever, um, we're bound to lose eventually. It, it just sort of annoys me that I couldn't show it on screen because Camtasia, like, messed up on me yet again, which is annoying. It's, it's happened a few times already now, which sucks, but, uh, yeah, there's nothing much I can do about that. I apologize, and, uh, yeah, let's just hope that we can lose, I guess, in this, uh, session, and, uh, yeah, you guys can see me lose on screen, I don't know, but anyway, the team we're going to be using today is based around Mega, or not Landers, well, Mega Gyarados. Uh, got Crunch in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which is good because it used to only have Bite, which was terrible. And, um, yeah, Bite obviously not a great Dark type move, it's like, alright, but now we have Crunch, a much better stab move, but let's go over the team. So, here we have, uh... Life Orb Landorus, you know, just power. It's just straight power, this Landorus. I love Life Orb Landorus. Uh, Landorus Incarnate is so good. Life Orb Latias with uh, Dual Stab plus Roost and Defog. Lead Focus Ash, Breloom, Spore, Mach Punch, Bullet Seed, Rock Tomb. Heatran with uh, Stealth Rock, Lava Plume, Roar, and Toxic, especially defensive. Gyarados with uh, Dragon Dance, Waterfall. Earthquake and Crunch, usually to set up, like, to try and sweep, but... I don't know, I haven't really had an instance where I can do that yet, so I'm hoping we can get that done today. And then, um, for some reason, this Clefable doesn't even have physical defense. Yeah, there we go. Um, for some reason, it wasn't even max defense, but that's what it's supposed to be. Max defense, Calm Mind, dif or Clefable, with uh, Moonblast, Flamethrower, Soft Boiled, and Calm Mind. And yeah, let's just go looking and see if we can get ourselves a battle. Right, we got one right away against Whoop Dang. And Showdown being a little bit laggy. Uh, Superior, <laughs> I will admit, has become very, very common as of late for obvious reasons. What with the uh, contrary Superior now being released. And what we will do is lead off with our uh, best lead, I think, is Berloom with the Focus Sash. Hopefully he doesn't lead off of that superior, because that'll be quite annoying. <laughs> um, it means I'll have to switch into my Heatran or something. Leads off of Dugtrio, that is actually what I expected to be his lead, and uh, we can just go for Bullet Seed. Don't need to go for uh, Spore or anything, just in the off chance that he goes out into that superior, which will obviously negate Spore. And Dugtrio is frail, so I mean, getting off damaged with a, uh, with a Bullet Seed will probably do it KO it, actually. It will outspeed me though, Dugtrio being a super fast Pokemon. Uh, Re Regi Rock is looking like- actually, no, it isn't. I was about to say it looked like a problem, but then we have, uh, Landorus, which will just demolish that thing with an Earth Power. Okay, let's see if this Doug Trio wants to- I'm gonna start the timer. I know it's a bit premature, but, uh, you know, sets up his rocks. Reasonable play, just with two shots it. Yeah, uh, yeah, guaranteed two shots at least with Bullet Seed. And our, fo our Focus Sash, wow, is still intact, which is good. I realize he doesn't really have a safe switch into a Moonblast from Clefable, which is good. Uh, definitely good knowledge. I can get off some damage. And let's see. Alright, he goes out into Espeon. Um, I am Focus Sash, so I am just going to go for Bullet Seed. He might want to set up some screens. That seems like a likely play. There's the Reflect. That's doing absolutely nothing. But I would like to preserve my, uh, my Focus Sash for as long as possible. And I guess just staying in is going to burn turns on this thing. So take a Psychic, that's fine. Uh, five hits would be pretty good here. Or a crit, that would also be welcomed. And I don't think a Mach Punch is going to kill it from there. But again, we can just get some extra damage. The Breloom put in some work. I mean, I can't... Can't fault my Breloom here. <laughs> it did pretty good. Got off a hell of a lot of damage on this thing. And oh, he actually has Morning Sun, are you serious? But either way, that's... Hey, that's a turn of his, uh, that's a turn stalled out, <laughs> which I will accept, definitely. 
I think what I can do is actually go out into Clefable. I could probably set up on this thing. I could probably set up a uh, combine on this thing. Which is good, and uh... I mean, I can catch stuff on with I can hit I can hit something really hard with a moon blast. Let's go for combine. I don't see like he doesn't knock me out with any one hit. He might set up a light screen here, predicting my attack. <laughs> he can't not predict me anything. Just setting up to take less damage. But yeah, I just take anything he wants to go for. Uh, combine. He'll obviously give me the special defense boost as he withdraws and goes out in or goes out into superior. It's good for me. Pretty confident in uh, Clefable's bulk to take a uh, to take a leaf storm at plus one and even at plus two. I think even when we get to plus two, uh, well, technically, technically, it'll be plus one because we are at plus one defense or special defense. So yeah, leaf storm. Even if he gets the contrary boost, doesn't scare me really. <laughs> I'm not afraid of it. Oh, just eating that up, eating that up. Die! <laughs> I don't think that crit mattered. It pro I, I can calc. We can calc. This is what the calculator's for. All right. So Fable. Oh, you magic guard, calm mind. Against a superior. With the uh, we'll just say it's the end. This one actually no, it won't because it wouldn't be max HP. It'd be max speed. So uh, actually that may have mattered. Did it? Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe it did. <laughs> it doesn't really- I don't really care though. Uh, I want to see- I'd probably take a plus two Leaf Storm, to be honest. Just, uh... Check. So plus two... And... Just Leaf Storm here. Not Leaf Blade. Leaf Storm. Uh... At... Plus one? Yeah, we, we were taking another one, so I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, actually, I don't even have that much special defense. Uh, never mind, whatever. <laughs> I don't know if we were taken or not. Anyway, uh, okay, he left because I was trying to calic stuff. Okay. Well, I'll take the points. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to stall him out like that. But I'll, I'll take the free points. That's whatever. That is whatever. Alright, Croc dead is our next opponent. And again, this is a battle where I think Clefable does rather well. Um, Landris Incarnate can do pretty well here too. This thing, this Rotom is going to be kind of annoying. And the Sable, what? Altari is going to be his Mega, I'm pretty sure. Uh, what I'm going to do is lead off with my Heatran, expecting the Sable I lead. As he leads off with his own Heatran, okay, so it's going to be, it could be Rocks for Rocks. Or it could be Earth Power on his end, which is kind of scary. Uh, I think going to Gyarados is fair enough, because, I mean, I get it now in free, or I get it in for free. And I can just Waterfall something on his team. Yeah, I'm going to go into Gyarados. I'm going to expect him to want to Earth Power. Even if he sets up his rocks, I mean, I've got Gyarados in for free, which is fine. As he goes for Taunt, so he stops my Dragon Dance. Hey, that's fine. He figured he'd outspeed me. Which is good. I kind of want to just go for Crunch, expecting Altaria because it does resist, or it, like avoids Earthquake and it resists Waterfall. So I'm gonna go for Crunch, Mega Ball of Crunch, just to get off some damage. There's no reason for him to stay in here. <laughs> this is like a bad position for him with a Gyarados in on the field. So Crunch does a hell of a lot. Gyarados is so strong. Uh, I outspeed this thing until the Mega Ball. I should actually Earthquake here. Actually, will I? Will he Mega? That is the question. Will he Mega? He might, just to resist. Do I be real in Earthquake? Yeah, I'm gonna Earthquake, expecting the Mega Evolution. I'm gonna Earthquake, anticipating the Mega Evolution. If he doesn't, then great play on his part by faking me out, but I'm predicting the Mega Evolution. It turns him into uh, Dragon Fairy. There it is. Doesn't avoid Earthquake anymore. Easy stuff. Great job from Gyarados. And yeah, Gyarados is looking really comfortable against his team right now. Which is great. Luckily, his Heatran didn't set up any rocks. That's obviously a good thing, too. And, uh, why doesn't we switch into this, actually? Do I just stay in? And, uh, Waterfall, because I can take it. I don't know how well I take a U-turn. I'm just gonna go out into Fable. It's my, uh, defensive Pokemon. 
it will let him go into his heat trend, though. If I go to Clefable, then he can set up his rocks. Just goes for the U-turn, that's fine. Uh, he can set up his rocks now, which actually doesn't affect me too bad, because... Uh, yeah, it doesn't affect me too bad at all, actually. Goes after his Sableye. I'm fairy, man, you know, I'm... I'm hitting you hard with this Moonblast. So he goes for Trick, uh, gives me a Choice Scarf. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, obviously Choice Scarf. Or Choice Scarf Clefable isn't great. Uh, in comes Heatran. Does he want to set up rocks? I'd expect so. But again, Gyarados... I can actually go for Earthquake, because Gyarados has Mole Breaker. Magma Storm is going to keep me locked in. Does do some decent damage. Uh... Do I want a Waterfall or do I want an Earthquake predicting Rotom Mo? Or do I want a Dragon Dance? No, I'm just gonna Waterfall. Go for the safe play. Even though he kills me off with Landorus if he goes into it. Or this. This outspeeds me, I think. Yeah, it does. Because these things use your own speed, but Magma Storm does in fact wear off when he trans switches out. Nice flash fire boost. Um, just gonna stealth rock. Get up some hazards, you know, get some damage on that Landorus on switch in, forcing the Tender Cruel to potentially spin. Thought I was going for a fire type move. Nah. nah. Smarter than that. I'm gonna go for Roar. He might have Earth Power. I have a feeling CS Magnum Storm might have Earth Power. Nope, that's up rocks. Okay, well. Switches him out to Tender Cruel. Uh, I'd love to catch some. I like. He's. Mm. I'd love to catch something with the Toxic, but I can't. Uh, he's more than likely gonna Scald. Which means I should just go for Lava Boom, really, to get damage. Like, I would like to keep Heatran alive for that thing. Oh, he sets up Toxic Spikes. Well, I have a Defogger. Which I can just go out into now, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna go out to Latias. I'm not gonna Defog, though. Actually, yeah, I should Defog, but I won't. Actually, I will, because he might go into Heatran now. And I don't mind not having hazards up. It's not that bad for me. So he doesn't switch out, he just stays in. And he's gonna go for Ice Beam, which doesn't do that much to Latias. And we're gonna follow up with a Psy Shock just for damage on something. Ba 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 So in comes Heatran. I really could've doubled into Gyarados there, <laughs> anticipating that. Uh, I feel like rocks might be coming. I'm gonna go to I'm going to uh, Landers. Might Magma Storm though. Nope, steps up the rocks again. Uh, safest play is going for knockoff. On the off chance he wants to go into this or into this to avoid an Earth Power. Knockoff won't do too much if he goes out to Landers though. Goes out to his Rotomo. That's fine. And we can knock that off, or knock that off, knock it out with a Psychic, because we knocked off its Scarf, meaning we are faster than it now. And yeah, Gyarados, if I get the opportunity to just set up one Dragon Dance, probably I clean up. That makes me think that is, is this Landorus Scarf? Uh, I am just going to sack my Landorus here so I can go out into Gyarados. Oh wow, I don't even need to sack it because I, I knock it out. I didn't know knock it out. It's pretty nice, and there's the forfeit, okay. He just scoops at that point. We are at uh, 1326, climbing the ladder. I think uh, 1500 is the, like, to get into the top 500. Ba -ba -ba -na -na -na. Oh my god, ew. Ew. That's mega slow, bro. We're actually not in too much trouble than we have Gyarados, but... I think Gyarados can sweep his team, if played right. I kind of want to weaken this, so Waterfall will do enough. Uh, slow, bro, might be too bad with Breloom. What's our best lead here? And actually, Landorus can do some work as well. I'm gonna lead off with, uh... With Focus Ash Breloom. Nothing that wants to get spored. But yeah, our team shapes up really, like he has lots of ground weaknesses, which is great. Leads off with the Scarm Rate, probably wants to set up hazards. I'm okay with that, as long as I get a Spore off. Uh, 
I'm expecting hazards. Unless he wants to be reeling over Brave Bird. But no, he just, uh, stays in. And, um, I'm going to take this opportunity to go to Heatran rather than going into Gyarados. Just in the off chance that he, uh, like, has Rocky Helmet. And I might have Whirlwind as well. I can't take that opportunity to set up if he has that. So I'm not going to go for Lava Boom. We're going to go for Stealth Rock, predicting his Heatran to come in to take the obvious, uh, obvious attack. I do have Toxic as well to whittle down the slow row, which is good. Goes after Zombreon. I might go for Toxic on this just for some whittle, to be honest. <laughs> just to get a little bit of whittle. Uh, I know I can't set up on this thing with Gyarados because of foul play. Obviously a thing. Uh, oh wow, he heal belled. Um, <laughs> ready to do that. Uh, let's see. What do I think he's gonna go into now? He might go into... Is he gonna go into... The Heatran? I think so. He might go into Heatran now. And, ooh, what remix is this? Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, it's... Oh, the Hollow Battle! Oh, I love this one. This one is... This is some good shit, guys. Believe me. There's the Heatran, <laughs> as expected. Uh, knockoff is like the best thing I can do. Oh, this this remix, man. This this remix is so good. All right, we're gonna go for knockoff. Expecting uh, Skarmory, probably expecting the Earth Force with him predicting Earth Power. Goes to Umbreon. I mean, uh, damage is damage. And what does Earth Power? How much does that do to this? Actually, just Focus Blast kill it. Focus Blast probably kills it. But it's whether I hit it or not. I do hit it. It doesn't knock it out. Wow. Okay. And he gets a wish off. Fine. Um, go for Earth Power. Save Earth Power. Yep, fine. That's okay, dude. Uh, Focus Blast, is it a roll? Uh, what I'm gonna do is Calic, I'll be back in a second. Focus Blast is in fact a roll. I actually got m near min damage on that last one. It's really just about hitting it. Uh, but yeah, just like 70 something percent. He goes up to slow, bro. I mean, that's still... I think that still dies to Earth Power. That's not even Mega. So it's Mega... Mega Girl, so it should have been kind of obvious in the first place. I think Earth Power, let's kill this thing. I mean, that did 30%, so I'm expecting Earth Power should just knock this out. This is Sheer Force Lander, sir. And your team does not take it on at all. <laughs> this guy's team does not take on Landorus whatsoever. Um, I knocked this out with an Earth Power, too. I'm faster than it until it Mega Evolves. In which case, I have to go into, uh, what do I have to switch into with that, actually? Nothing, because I don't need to. Just dies. Landers Incarnate, guys. This is just, <laughs> it just destroys. <laughs> Such a good Pokemon, I swear. Such a good mod. Crazy. There it is. <laughs> There's the forfeit. He knew he couldn't take it on. Uh, I've gotten three forfeits. He sends out this. Uh, I don't get to kill it, obviously, because he forfeited, but, uh, yeah. Landers, again. Just... Helping us climb. Hopefully, I wonder if I can get 1400 by the time we end this session. That'd be a pretty nice point to leave us off at. Landers, though. Nice. Nice job from Lando. Uh, okay. Pretty scary team. I'm expecting Slowbro Mega here. Uh,. I'm also expecting Ferrothorn lead, but it could be Infernape, because lead Infernape is a thing. Uh, I guess we'll just lead off with, uh, with Heatran, and then if he, if he does lead with Infernape, we can switch into Gyarados or thing. Does lead off with Infernape, uh, obviously would not want to be on the receiving end of a close combat. Uh, actually, going into Clefable is good, because... I can Flamethrower, Scizor, or Ferrothorn on the Switch get off at least 50 something percent, I think, on Ferrothorn. But I ain't taking about those. I ain't about taking close combats. See, so yeah, I'm gonna go for the Flamethrower. Obviously, switching into uh, this isn't a good option into Latios, because he can't one shot me. And I can just Moonblast it to kill it. Diggers be his potential option, but I expect Ferrothorn or the Scizor to come in. It actually goes into his Latios. What? What kind of play is that? It doesn't make sense to me. But a lot of things don't make sense to me, but that one, that's 
questionable. Uh, okay, that's why. He wants to give me a choice scarf. Okay. Thanks, pal. I appreciate it. I'm still gonna do it KO you, though. Uh, he's gonna go into Sparathor now, I think. Yeah, there it is. I'm still getting, like, no damage. But <laughs> still damage. That's weird. Like, is it worth it? Was that worth it? I don't think so. I don't think... Switching in something just to get... Like, to swap. Your... Your tr trick me as choice guy. I guess it kind of... It doesn't even cripple me. It actually does. It prevents me going for soft-boiled and all that shenanigans. Um, I'm going to do two. I, I, kinda, I really want to talk to the... Predicting Slowbro or Infernape, which is what we're gonna do. Things better to get a toxic off. Goes into Diggers be uh, crippled, not crippled, but yeah, that's all right. Uh, we're gonna go to Cl Fable. I don't know how much we take from a return. Uh, I was really hoping he'd go to Slowbro there, just to cripple it, but. Uh, didn't do that obviously and oh my dear god that is too strong that is too strong um <laughs> i kind of actually I don't need this type heatran and i have well i have heatran for <laughs> these two so i mean it's not too bad and this thing is scarf now he's dead he's forced to go to quick attack or go for quick attack is he? no i don't think so he should no he still be faster than me i have no speed so, okay, he actually does switch, um, sure. This is gonna let him set up loads of hazards, though. I'd rather go into Latios here, or Latias, and just defog to preserve my focus sash on Breloom, as well as some other things. So it goes for the seeds. Uh, I'm gonna hope that he thinks I have HP fire, which is why I brought this in. Nope, he stays in. He's probably gonna seat. Nope, gyro ball. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I can just roost that off, or I can go T train. <laughs> and uh, yeah, okay. There's the rock exchange again. Uh, I feel like Lava Plume's a decent enough play here to hit something or to get some stuff on the switch. I mean, get damage. And then next turn we sack Clefable. See what? He's making all these questionable plays. I don't get it. I'm gonna toxic this and get some status. Please don't be like, rest calm mind. That would be some garbage. Rest sleep talk would be some garbage. So now he just uh, mega evolves, goes for scald, we live another one. And we can get up some uh, some hazards. Get up some nice, delicious, nutritious hazards. Yep. <laughs> cool. Okay, uh, I don't know if this thing is scarfed or not. I am just gonna sack Clefable at this point. Again, I need to <laughs> focus. I need to, like, get... Well, I don't need to get rid of the hazards now. I guess mine are up, so... That helps me... But I need to keep Heatra at a decent health, even though, um, Landorus takes on Ferrothorn and Scizor as well. And I've just been disconnected. Uh, let me just pause until I reconnect. Alright, so we're back. And, uh, reconnected. I'm just gonna switch into Clefable. I don't know what happened there. I guess the server sort of crashed or something, I don't know. But, goes for close combat. Uh, I don't know if he's locked into that. I just want to go into into Landorus. Cause I'm fast. No, I'm like I'm not faster. But he doesn't have anything that one shots me. Uh, knockoff seems like a reasonable play. The Earth power seems like a reasonable play. I think we'll just knock off predicting Latios. He has hidden power ice. Are you kidding me? The E belt. The E belt. <laughs> e belt Infernape. And he said he has Thunder Punch, I think. Oh my god. 
Wait, what am I doing? I have a lot of yas. I had a lot of yas the whole time. And now he switches. What the? <sighs> I think I'm gonna lose this one. Because I played so stupid. When I have so many more, like, options that I can be doing. But instead I'm just playing like an absolute dumbass. Actually, no, I do want to deep. No, oh, not roost. I want to defog. And showdown lag. Hooray. Nice. That's what I like. Showdown lag. Well, I'm going to predict to protect. And, uh. Go back into a lot. If he, uh. Yeah, I lost this one for sure. I'm pretty. I played this one so freaking stupidly. I'm actually annoyed at how stupid I played this one. Oh well, happens. Don't gyro ball. I actually switched out into slow, bro. Um, it's an opportunity for me to roost. I mean, get some health back. I'll take it. I know my Latias outspeeds his Infernape, I know he's not choice, he might be Focus Ash, but that's fine because I have a uh, thing. Don't have Ice Beam. Slack off, so okay, that's fine. Uh, I might actually Roost again just to get my health back. I don't care if this thing's like, I don't care about the slow bro. Being at reasonable amount of HP, he's whittled a bit, so it's alright. Alright, we got Latias back to full. No, we didn't because he has Ice Beam. Do I drop a Drake? Just drop I don't think Draco kills. And then I have to take another Ice Beam. I'm just gonna roost again until he's at the point where I will knock him out with the Draco Meteor. So good luck to Diggersby. <laughs> I'm faster than this thing. I live a quick attack because I do have some investment. I guess now is my best chance to drop a Draco Meteor on something. And this thing's a threat. So taking care of this is definitely... Yep. That happened. That just happened. That's great. I just missed a freaking Draco Meteor. That would have killed him. That's good stuff. That is some good stuff. <sighs> yeah, I lost now, for sure. How do I take out, uh... How do I take out Infernape? Because he's faster than everything I have. He just close combats now and he wins, pretty much. Gyarados at half. Because I'm just slow, bro. I don't know why, because I can just bullet seed and knock it out. I mean, I don't know if I can still win. I doubt it. I really doubt that I can win from this position. But, uh, we'll see. I think I can knock out Latios, or Latios with a mock punch on the switch in. I mean, Breloom's putting in the work right now. It's just this, like, what do I do about Infernape? And I hate losing to Infernape, because I really don't think Infernape is a good Pokemon. <laughs> I just think Infernape's not that great. Uh, what? I'm faster than you. Is he choking? He's choking it. Yeah, look at that, I'm faster. Now I just keep clicking Mog Punch. <laughs> I think he's- this guy's choking the game away. I mean, yeah, look, I'm getting- I'm getting this damn- why didn't he just like Bullet Punch me? I just have to keep going for Mog Punch, though, that's... The only thing I can do. Look at this, he's just... Letting it die. Freeloom with the uh, the late game sweep. I don't deserve to. Uh, yeah, I don't deserve to win. <laughs> I played so shitty. I played really, really bad. I don't deserve this win if I get it. But I brought it back to 3 3. I'm really annoyed I didn't defog because Gyarados is, is going to be at half. I'm just going to mock punch, get that nice damage. Oh, uh, wait, he's showing overheat, close combat, hidden power ice. It's either Mach Punch or Thunder Punch. If I don't Mega. 
I don't drag, I just have to like, earth, I have to waterfall. Okay, so it doesn't look like he has anything to touch Gyarados. On Infernape, but it doesn't really matter because I lost now because I didn't do whatever. Um, because I know Crunch doesn't kill this thing. I just have to go to Heatran. <laughs> I just have to. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I've I lost this one because of Infernape. Leech Seed. Uh, yeah, it's more than likely game. And it sucks, but, uh, win some, lose some. Unless he goes to Infernape now, and... Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> the off chance he, like, choked. And he did choke a lot already, though, because he, like, sacked loads of his Pokemon to my... Verloom. Latios, that dies? Oh, my God, 3%. And then I died or whatever. Unless... E Draco's here, and then I get to set up with Gyarados at 25%. He did what? There's no way I win though, is it? There's no way. He's not locked into anything. He might have he might have Thunderbolt too. But there's no way. I can't even set up because I like, died probably to anyone hit. I died with Draco anyway, so yeah, we lost. Ah, finishing on a loss. Hurts my pride a bit. But Win some, lose some, I mean, yep, if only he missed, wouldn't have saved me anyway, I don't think, <laughs> uh, unless I set up a dragon dance, but yeah, there we go, uh, that is how we finish up, you guys can't see the rank, or not the rank, but the, uh, the losses because of dimensions, but we are 14 and 2, uh, yeah, that's not too bad, I mean, I'm alright with 14 and 2, but that's pretty much going to be it, guys. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching the showdown live. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time when we go do another one. So I will catch you guys then.